When you want to estimate the cost of a project, you need to estimate the cost of all the items that are inside the project. And how to estimate the cost for these items? You have to break down the item into its components. And this is exactly what we call rate analysis. For any item in the project, there will be a cost rate. And this cost rate consists of materials, equipment, manpower, subcontractors, and you need to know what is the cost of each of them that makes the cost of the item. This is what we call rate analysis and this is what I'm going to be explaining in this video. So the rate analysis is all about the cost elements. And what are the cost elements that are there? There is the materials required and equipment required and manpower required and subcontractors required for any item. So the cost of any item will come under these four categories or four or cost elements. The cost will come from either the materials or the equipment or the manpower or the subcontractors required to do an item. So always the cost will come from one of these. And now I'll start explaining each one of them separately. So the first one, which is the materials, what are the materials that can be required for a project? Of course, it will depend on the item. So if we are talking about concrete works, we will need concrete and the steel. If we are talking about block works, we will need the blocks, we will need sand, we will need cement, we might need also block accessories. So these are the materials for block works. If you are talking about the flooring tiles or wall tiles, you need sand and cement and maybe tile glue and you need the tile itself and you need the grouting and you need the spacers. So all of these are materials required for each item. If we are talking about the painting, for example, we need the painting materials as well. So any materials required for an item, it will come under the materials. It's just the materials that you need to supply in order to do the work. This is what we call the materials. The second cost element is the equipment. So what are the equipments that we might need? Well, it will depend again on the item. For which item you need what equipment? So if we are talking about concrete items, all the equipments that we need will come for the formwork and the scaffoldings and formwork accessories and things like that. By the way, the hand tools also are considered as equipment. If we need a hammer, if we need a hand saw, all these will be equipment. Sometimes you need bending machine for the concrete works to bend the steel. You might need an electrical saw to cut the woods. So all of these are equipments that will be required for let's say structure works. For block works you will not need that much of equipment maybe some hand tools. But again you might need equipment for the same item for the shifting of the materials for shifting the block work. You might need for example crane or GCB or something. So mostly equipment are the equipment that are used either hand tools or heavy equipment. It doesn't matter it's just equipment. For excavation for example you need some excavators you need some trucks or you can subcontract the whole item and you will not consider it as equipment but let's not talk about this now we'll talk about it more when we start talk about subcontractors but I'm just giving you examples about what are the equipment that we can use now let's talk about the manpower or the labors required for a project now after you have your materials you have your equipment now you need the labors or the manpower who will actually do the installation or the fixing so if we take the structure works as example we need carpenters we need steel fixers we need unskilled labors if we take the block walls as example we need block masons and unskilled labors if we take the tiles you need tile mason and unskilled labor so the unskilled labor will be there always to help the skilled labor whatever the category carpenter steel fixer mason whatever you will still need unskilled labor to help him and all of these labors are what we call labors or manpower when we are estimating the cost the fourth cost element we have is called subcontractors and the subcontractors can be categorized into two categories we can call the first category the specialists and the second category the installation subcontractor and what is the difference subcontractor is another company that you will hire them based on an agreement so you will be paying them not for their time but for their product or their service for example you can hire a subcontractor or a specialist to do the aluminium work in your project and you will be paying them per window or per square meter so it is not a calculation of time anymore it's the price it's an agreement so this is called supply and installation aluminium subcontractors or joineries will supply and install as well manufacture and supply and install so these are the specialists now we have another type 
type of subcontractors the installation only subcontractor so you can subcontract the installation of the tiles or building the block walls or even the shuttering and the steel fixing so these are labor subcontractors who will do only installation and what is the difference between using a labor subcontractor versus using your own manpower actually your own manpower or your own labors will be paid monthly wise so you will be paying the salary every month and you will need to monitor the productivity to make sure that the cost of the item doesn't exceed your calculations or your expectations but in case of using installation subcontractors you will be paying them per unit of measurement per cubic meter or per linear meter or per square meter so in that case you will not have to worry about how much time they spent are they producing are they having good productivity or no it's not your business you don't care because you are paying per square meter or cubic meter or linear meter so you are paying for the work that is already done and you don't care if they are wasting time or what they are doing it's not your business because you are paying only for the product or for the installed item and actually that's why I prefer going for labor subcontracts for the installation works because of that because I am paying for what is executed we are measuring and making the payment accordingly but if you have your own manpower and you are using your own manpower it will be your responsibility to control the productivity because you are paying the salary monthly despite of their work if they work or if they don't work you will still pay the salary but in case of installation subcontractors you are paying only for the installed work so these are the labor subcontractors and there are the specialists whom as I told you will do the manufacturing supply and the installation for an item but in both cases it's a subcontractor and now when you want to do the rate analysis all you have to do is to see for each item that you are trying to calculate the cost for what are the materials required what are the quantities and the prices what are the equipment required again quantities and the prices what is the manpower required subcontractors required and based on that you can come up with the cost rate for an item and quickly if we are meeting for the first time I am Ahmad Adel and you are watching cost engineering professional and here I help you develop the required skills and enhance your knowledge to elevate your cost engineering career so if this is what you want you can quickly subscribe so simply the combination of the material equipment manpower subcontractor the cost of each of them will give you the cost of an item and when you calculate the cost of all the items in the project then you will get the cost of the project and actually the item can be structure or it can be architectural item it can be electrical item mechanical item it's the same materials equipment manpower subcontractors required for an item it will give you the cost and here on the channel there are so many videos where i have explained the rate analysis more and i leave the links to these videos in the description below and in this video as well i show you my template to estimate the cost and to analyze the rates to do the rate analysis rate breakdown and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one